Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving deep into how to transfer survey data from Excel to AutoCAD and generate contour lines, L profiles and cross sections of any terrain using SWDTM software. For this, you have to have a basic understanding of AutoCAD. First, organize your survey data in Excel such that serial number in the first column, X coordinate in the second column, Y coordinate in the third column, Z coordinate in the fourth column, and Remax in the fifth column. Make sure AutoCAD is open before you start using SWDTM. If you haven't downloaded SWDTM 8, click the link in the description below to download and install it. It's completely free. So let's get started. Open AutoCAD and type the command units. Set the drawing unit type to decimal and then insertion scale to millimeters and click OK. Now go to Excel and select all the data you want to plot or transfer into the AutoCAD. Now, open SWDTM and click on points, then import points from Excel and then choose import points. If you cannot see the points, double click the mouse wheel. You should now see that all the points have been plotted complete with points name, RL and remarks. Now let's draw a traverse. Open Excel and select your survey data. In the remarks column, you can see CP1 and CP2 are control points 1 and 2. Capital M1, M2, M3 are major travel points. A small M1, M2, M3, M4 represent minor travel points. Select all the points you want to plot. Now go to SWDTM, click on points, then click on import points from Excel, a new pop-up window will appear where you can scale your point levels. If your area is small, decrease the level size. If your area is large, increase it according to your requirement. If you want remarks to appear as their names, tick first option. If you do not want to write remarks and elevation, click second option. In this case, we want both remarks and elevation, so we ensure these options are unchecked. After that, click Import Points. You should now see all the points have been plotted. Next, we need to join these points. Use the Polyline tool in AutoCAD and connect all the points. Start from CP1 and sequentially join all the points. Make sure you can start from any point. You just need to make a close traverse. Once you have connected all the points, press enter to finish the polyline drawing. Now you can see that we have plotted our survey data and joined all the major and minor traverse points. Now to display the coordinates of each point, open SWDTM again and then go to draw, then draw grid and select draw grid with grid lines. You can enter the grid interval. For this, I will keep it as 50 as it is, then click on OK and you will change the text height here. I will keep it as 1. Then click on OK. And select the first point at bottom left corner. And select the second point at top right corner. Now you can see that the grid lines have been plotted. Now let's draw a contour line. For this, go to Excel 
and select all the data you want to plot like this open autocad and swdtm click on points and then click on import point from excel and select import points if you cannot see the points double click on the mouse wheel now you can see that all the points have been plotted with the remarks point name and elevation In order to draw contour, go to draw and select add boundary. Draw a boundary that encompasses all the survey data. SWDTM will ignore points outside the boundary and processes um, only the points that are inside it. So make sure all the points are inside the boundary like this. Next, click on points and then process points and then click on OK. Processing successful. OK. Go to triangles and triangulate. Click on OK. And then go to contour. Select draw quick contour. You can change the contour interval and measure contour here if you want to as per your requirements. And you can also change minimum distance between the contours. Now I am keeping it as it is and then clicking it on draw. Now you can see the contour has been plotted without the elevation, right? So in order to write the elevation of the contour, we need to go to contour and then contour annotation. And then the dialog box will pop up where you can uh, change the text height as per the requirements. Make sure that the line type will be LW polyline. Contour option will be multiple all as we are drawing the elevation for all the contours here. Keep the annotation position middle and click on add. Now click the first point of the contour where you want to. Uh, so the contour. Click the next contour crossing point. Now you can see contour line with elevation. Now click on FG. And in order to draw L profile and cross section of uh, the terrain, now what we need to do is to draw alignment first so let's draw the alignment i'm drawing the alignment randomly here you can draw as per your requirement where you want your l profile and cross section now go to swd team and then Go to X section and then click on section by DTM. We generally draw L profile and cross section together. So I am selecting the L profile and cross section here. The starting changes will be 0 plus 0, 0, 0. You can change as per your requirements. Um, for the cross section interval, I am uh, changing it to 10. And you can write the changes. So tick the right changes button. Uh, you can change the partial distance as well. If you want to change it, you can change it. 
but for now I am keeping it as it is. Click on select. Then you have to save this file. So I am saving this file as um, some name and then save. And then we have to select the alignment layer to the starting point of the chaining. So I am selecting the starting point. Now you can see that the alignment with the chain is and the total length of the selected alignment is 216.714. Now in order to draw L profile, go to cross section and then draw L profile, cross section and draw L profile. Please make sure that read data will be from default file. Changes right option include all changes. You can change the paper size here. For now, I am keeping it all. You can change the horizontal scale. You can change what it called scale, number of rows, number of columns, and column distance, row distance, whatever you want, you can change. Click on execute, click on draw all, and pick any point as a reference point. Now you can see that the real profile of the alignment has been drawn here. Now in order to draw cross section of the terrain, click on path, cancel, and then go to F section and draw L profile, F section, then select draw S section. Make sure that the read file will be from default file and click on include all changes. You can change the horizontal scale, vertical scale, number of rows and number of columns here as well. I just keep it as it is and uh, click on execute and draw. So now we have to click a point as the origin. So I'm clicking somewhere here. Now you can see all the section have been plotted. Eight interval, 10 meter channels. So this is simple and easy software for uh, drawing contour lines, grid lines and uh, help profile and cross section of the any area, right? So if you have found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe and uh, turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any updates. Thank you.